Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. I deeply appreciate it. If you do want to book readings with me, my email's in the description right below the timestamps. And if you want to be part of the 9,000 subscriber giveaway, just make sure you are subscribed and comment and you are in the running for that and of course I will give those two free readings out as soon as I hit 9,000 subscribers. So thank you all my gorgeous and talented people and it's time to move on to pile number one. <laughs> Already dropping things so you know it's me. So pile number one my gorgeous darlings. How are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now? We have the Three of Cups. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have me again dropping stuff. They were both face down, so I'm not going to take either of them. Uh, Knight of Cups. And the Six of Swords. This is interesting. Because we have the Three of Cups, which uh, could be other um, energies. Uh, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. Is this, this person may very well enjoy being single and this but there is an aspect of this person maybe dealing with people who aren't very serious to them while you're um, holding on to your personal self-worth. We have the romance of the Knight of Cups and we have the Six of Swords. So one of two things, this person may be um, put, uh, putting... I feel like a lot of people might be putting their energy into something that's not as serious. Um, either this person can maybe feel your energy moving f away from them. Yeah, they might feel your energy moving away from them. Um, and you're looking good. And this person may very well have some romantic interest in you uh, but I'm not sure how how seriously they should be taken right now because that three of cups yeah this person like we've got the ace of wands with the three of cups this person may very well put you in some kind of third party situation so just be aware of that how are they feeling about you right now? Um, we have the lovers. We've got romance and the lovers. I feel like this person does feel an emotional connection to you. But this person's very motivated by lust. Clarity on the Nine of Pentacles. Um... I feel like there's some conflict. Like you may be really holding on to your stability and self-worth in, in this situation. This person may be very conflicted because this person also seems to have two desires that don't necessarily work together. We've got the six of swords and we've got the six of wands and the six of wands is about winning it's about being the center of attention um this person may just really enjoy getting a lot of attention from other people that doesn't mean that you should just deal with it but i feel like that is something that is a conflict Clarity on the Five of Wands, Seven of Swords. Um, I think that you should be dubious about this person's trustworthiness, especially if you want any kind of 
monogamy in this situation because this person does seem inclined to go after what they want um, and not and not too concerned about how it affects other people. We've got the lovers. With the lovers came out twice. I feel like this person does have a lot of I feel like this person has emotions for you. I feel like this person has a deep sense of connection to you. Um, but it doesn't seem to keep this person from, you know. And I think that there's also a choice to be loving with the lovers. There's a choice, like choosing another person. Um, this person seems shady doesn't mean that they're yeah it's just that seven of swords you've got the queen of wands this person finds you very very physically attractive especially with the lovers um yeah this person finds you very very physically attracted uh, this person might even find you emotionally attractive because we have the lovers and the, um, but yeah, I feel like this person's character might be something that would get in the way. We've got the eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles is um, work, energy, effort, the necessary work, energy, and effort that you need to put in to build something bigger. And I feel like this person definitely wants to have a success, but there is a necessary amount of work, energy, and effort in order to build something like a Ten of Pentacles to build a steady foundation. So I feel like this person is very conflicted about doing that, even though you you show a lot of value as a person. Gratitude. Does this person have a lot of gratitude for you? What about gratitude? Bridge, six of wands personal success, bridging the gap between personal success and having gratitude. Because we have the bridge. We have that six of wands. So I feel like this person may be very much in their ego space. Um, and I feel like there is a need for them to bridge the gap between appreciation because this does, person does seem to focus a lot on you know what they want and not really consider a lot of how it's affecting others so um, it feels like that they need to find that bridge between um, appreciation and uh, and success and, and being somebody who's lifted up How are they feeling about you right now? Teeth, take a bite out of life. Again, this person seems like they may be inclined towards partying or um, like this person is very motivated by their passions. Again, this person does have passions towards you, but I feel like um, you need to consider whether this is something that's, you know, just consuming you rather than giving back and forth because there has to be real energy and effort given in both ways for that. And you do bring a lot of, you know, value to the table. We've got renewal. What about renewal? Why is renewal up here? 
Are you going to have a renewal in the situation? The peach is standing out to me. Um, so I, I don't know if that's a message for somebody in particular. Um, in order for there to be some kind of renewal in this situation, there needs to be some moving forward with practical forethought and planning um, that involves creating some kind of stability. So, I feel like in order for there to be a renewal of this situation, this person will have to offer some kind of stability. Move forward with some kind of stability. Um, and that does seem to be an issue with this person. So, how are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now? Just throwing things everywhere. Make this stuff look easy. Between that and the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like this person may feel like something's easy for you. And I think that you're somebody that's pretty impressive. Keep only what you truly need in your house and in your life. So this one flew out and fell on the floor. So it's... Um, I feel like this person might have some jealousy of you. And I'm not sure if that's jealousy regarding other people as much as feeling jealous of you. Not other people with you, but of you. Because I think that you have some qualities that this person wants, but would have to work for. And that might be So that could be something that might be complicated in your dynamic um, because it's hard when uh, somebody is competing with you um, instead of maybe establishing that you're both on the same team. Anything else we need to tell our darling pile number ones? Seven of Swords. Um, Seven of Swords and the letter. This person hasn't been really honest with you with their communication. And the Seven of Swords actually came up another time. So, I think that you should probably question this person's motives regarding you. Even though, even though this person does have some emotions for you, um... Um, I'm not sure if it's going to come out in, in something that is very healthy. Because uh, I feel like this person sees you with all this value. They see you, but again, I think that they're jealous of that. And there is something that they would have to put work in that you make look easy and this person has some ego. And this is not about lessening yourself for any one person, because you shouldn't. Um, but we have, again, the Ace of Wands. So this person is very, very driven by their passions, um, especially because we've got that and Mars. 
and we also had that five. We have the seven of swords and the five of wands that have both come up. So conflict. I feel like this person has some inner conflict that doesn't necessarily lead to them being terribly fair to you. And with Mars, Mars is about energy and maybe, you know, can be fighting because God of war. Um, but it's also fire with the Ace of Wands. This person, they seem to be very motivated. They, they're very motivated by passion. But we have the Three of Swords, which is about heartbreak. And we have the Star, which is about healing, hope, renewal. And I think that while renewal is possible, it's there's there's energy, effort, and really practical things that need to go into it. Um, so I, I feel like there's... And, you know, if you've been doing everything you can, that is literally everything you can do. At some point, the other person has to put in work. Or else there's potential, but it's only potential. So we've got the, the star, which is about hope, healing, renewal. And we've got the dragon. Um, the dragon can be somebody who's greedy. Um, it's also something powerful, something magical, but greedy, possessive. And again, I'm getting that this person may feel like they're in competition with you. Um, which may not bring out the best qualities that they have. Um, so I think that right now this person, they have some romantic feelings for you, but they're most likely to show those feelings in physical ways, and they don't seem like they're ve being very honest. They seem like they're being very sneaky, and we have potential third-party situations here. So I feel like there's a, um, I feel like in order for there to be renewal, this person does need to do some things, do some very practical things. Um, and I think that one of those things is, um, instead of viewing you as competition, they need to be like viewing you on the same team as them. Um, so I think that that's a little bit difficult. Um, I do think that they have some emotions here, but I don't think that it's really translating into something that's healthy. So I hope that that helped you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 9,000 subscribers. Be subscribed and comment and you are in the running for that. I also, uh, if you want to book with me, my email is in the description right below the timestamps. I appreciate everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. So my gorgeous darlings, it's time for pile number two. How are they feeling about you right now? Pile number two. How is pile number two feeling? Ugh, not how they're feeling. How... How is pile number two's person feeling about them? Wheel of Fortune. This person feels like you are very good fortune for them. Four of Wands. So I think, yeah, two of Wands. Good fortune, four of wands. Like, I feel like this person needs to make some kind of decision. I think they're aware that they need to make some kind of decision regarding you. But with the four of wands and the wheel of fortune, um, they're very much feeling like this is good luck, that this is something that could be a steady, stable, long-term relationship. You also have the king of cups. The king of cups is somebody that holds a lot of strong emotions. They may not always be somebody who communicates a lot of strong emotions, though. Why is the two of wands here? Because there's a decision. The decision on how to move forward is 
has to do with working together to make something bigger. Um, so I'm getting the impression that this person is very serious about you. Um, this person feels like you are good fortune. How are they feeling about you right now? Ooh. And if the Four of Pentacles can, comes out. The Four of Pentacles is an obstacle because the Four of Pentacles is holding on too tight. We're holding back too much. It doesn't really allow things to flow as they're meant to flow. We have the Strength card. And this comes from a place of fear. Like either we don't want to get too attached because we don't want to get hurt or we don't want to be abandoned so we won't let anything go, you know, and we have that fear so we're always trying to get people to reinforce. So I think that, yeah, this person needs to choose between not letting anything flow to just letting things build and grow. And this requires strength and power on their part because they, they're capable, they are capable of overcoming the limitations that they might have put on the situation and they have, may have put on themselves. Um, but they're going to have to be courageous and strong in order to do it. We've got the Knight of Swords, so I feel like this person is inclined to make some sort of action towards you. This Four of Pentacles is what is in the way, so we'll get us some clarity, Ace of Wands. So with the Ace of Wands, that's a brand new beginning in passion. That's a brand new beginning in inspired uh, again, this Four of Wands is a long-term, steady, stable relationship. And the Two of Wands is like needing to make one of two choices regarding movement, regarding uh, making something happen. So this person is having to face whatever this is that doesn't let things flow within them in order to have a new beginning moving forward. So this would be an action card. This would be an action card. But um, there's going to be stagnation until a choice is actually made, even if this person has really deep feelings for you, even if this person feels like you're the best thing that's ever happened. But there's this fear that, you know, if they open up to that, then, you know, or, or they, they let go for a second, it's all going to go away. One of the two. It's, it's an extreme, and it's, it's not helpful either way. How are they feeling about you right now, pile number two? Six of Cups. If you guys have um, separated, this person definitely does want a reunion with you. Um, they have a lot of nostalgia. They have a lot of good memories. Um, you're somebody that on some level they feel like they could even grow old with. And the Five of Pentacles came out. Um, this person may feel left out in the cold. Uh, again, this person may have created a situation um, in which like needs were not being met because unfortunately with the Four of Pentacles, we think we're keeping ourselves from pain, but we are focusing all our energy on loss and that often begets loss. So I feel like this person feels, uh, well, if, if you guys are not fully apart, this person does need to deal with their sense of loss deal. Uh, but if you guys are separated, this person does want to come together. Um, this person has to face some kind of fear, um, which they can overcome. It's within their capability. Um, doesn't mean anybody can do it for them. Uh, but this person does want to have a relationship with you. Um, and if, if this person not opening up has led to there being a, a sense of lack between the two of you, 
Um, I don't think that this person has enjoyed that situation. We also have the three, four, and five of pentacles. So a lot of pentacles on the board, I say, as I grab the seven of pentacles. So we haven't reached the six of pentacles, which it would be generosity and letting things flow back and forth. But the seven of pentacles is a lot of time and energy already spent. So the, really quickly, the I wasn't sure to take it, but the page of cups came out and the page of cups is about emotional immaturity. It could be about apologies. Um, it, it could just be about emotional communication. Ooh, Ace of Swords. As I say about communication, this person has to tell you the truth especially on top of the Knight of Swords, and this person has to tell you the truth regarding their feelings. They don't have to, like, they can, you know, make other decisions, but if they want a successful situation with you, they absolutely do. If they want the good luck that is you in their life, they absolutely have to. How are they feeling about you right now? Flow. <laughs> See, uh, we were talking about how the Four of Pentacles doesn't allow any flow. And we pull flow. Uh, divine, uh, allow me, divine, to move with the flow and respond with calmness and peace. So this person clearly... The natural flow between the two of you if this person could allow it to happen, would lead to abundance and, you know, good things between the two of you. This person does have trouble allowing that to happen. This person may be realizing that whatever their fears are, they need to allow things to flow if they don't want to be left out in the cold. that they might have put both of you in, but it, it came from that. So we have Hecate and magic. Maybe they really believe that this connection is very magical. Maybe they feel like you are very magical. How are they feeling about you right now? Choose happiness constantly. So, again, you're somebody that they could have a long-term, very happy relationship, at least in there, had they believed that to be the case. This person has trouble allowing things to flow. And I feel like in order to choose you, this person has to choose you know, let things flow and, and choose happiness, not their fear. How are they feeling about you right now? Celebrity, shine like the star that you are. Um, you definitely are shining. You're definitely, like we have magic and celebrity. I don't know if maybe some of you guys are tarot readers some of maybe some of you are very well known um but you certainly stand out and shine to this person and i feel like this person feels like you stand out and shine to a lot of people um This person may, you know, fear loss so much that they won't go after something that is amazing because of that fear of loss. Because, you know, they fear, like, what will they deal with that when it's gone? Which means that to some extent they may create the conditions for... Um, that situation to be gone from them. We have the locked heart, which the four of 
Four of Pentacles will do. Um, does this person feel like you have a locked heart? I feel like this person has been doing everything they can to close off their heart. Um, if this person has caused there to be lack between the two of you, I don't think that they enjoy this result, but it is a result of this. We also have um, the heart in the flag, so uh, the flag, uh, the, <laughs> the United Kingdom flag, um, or the British flag, um, Union Jack. So I feel like th there could be a something to do with this person's background or your background or you know they're I can speak I just can't lift this <laughs> I can't pick this thing up um apparently I cut my nails too short um so I feel like there there might be some relationship with the United Kingdom in some way there there may be some kind of patriotism in some way there 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 may be just some anglophile angle here um but we've got some and the letter f so what is some why because it's s-o-m-e not the addition of something uh so ooh, two of cups This person needs to allow themselves to love and be loved. For some of you, you could be a celebrity. For some of them, maybe they have some kind of celebrity status. Um, maybe that does make them a little bit more um, closed off. But you... On some level, they recognize that you are good luck for them. On some level, like you, you know, you come off as magic. They need to overcome their fears and they need to make a decision regarding you because there are a lot of emotions, but there needs to be building together to create something bigger than the both of you. So I hope that was helpful, helpful, helpful. If you do want a free reading, I'm going to give away two as soon as I hit 9,000 subscribers. I deeply appreciate you all. Uh, if you want to be a part of that, just make sure that you are subscribed and you comment. I'll give away two as soon as I hit 9,000 subscribers. If you want to book with me, my email is in the description right below the timestamps. Uh, and thank you, my gorgeous talented and beautiful darling it's it's time for pile number three so pile number three my gorgeous angels <laughs> how are they feeling about you right now how are they feeling about you right now we've got the six of swords we have the ten of pentacles Six of Swords is moving on to calmer waters, moving away from dramatic situations. Ten of Pentacles is long-term, steady, stable commitment, a uh, relationship that can last the test of time. We have, this is a movement card, this is a movement card. They're more towards moving towards success, moving away from difficult, moving towards success. And we have the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Wands. Um, this person can could feel very emotionally beaten up. This person could be feeling, uh, it might be a little bit hard for this person to lower their guard. Let's get some clarity on that. Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups, yeah. In order to have a brand new emotional beginning with you, this person may need to release some some kind of intensity 
in which they're uh, they're trying to keep themselves safe. So this person is really trying to move forward. This person wants there to be a brand new emotional beginning. Uh, they might even want a emotional, a brand new emotional um, beginning with you. And this person is taking action. They are making moves. King of Pentacles. This person really... This person is thinking about what makes sense in the long term. Because we have the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This person is thinking about long-term relationships. We've got the Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's something like the the chariot is moving you towards success. It's the universe kind of putting the afterburner on for you. Um, but you still have to steer. <laughs> and you need to not trip over your conflicting needs. And we have that Nine of Wands come out a second time. So this person has conflicting needs regarding keeping themselves safe and having a brand new emotional beginning in love. Clarity on the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this person is somebody that slowly but surely will work towards a long-term steady relationship something that will last the test of time um i feel like this person's skittish though how are they feeling about you right now four of swords um there might be some stagnation between the two of you now um because there's some level of needed healing um, this person I feel like this person very much cares about being successful this person very much cares about having a legacy um, I feel like there could be an aspect of, uh, of, of this person trying to have control to keep themselves safe which is not always the healthiest thing. So I think that this person wants something steady and stable. I think that this person is capable of creating that. Um, but there's something that they need to deal with. Yeah. This person, they want to make very practical decisions right now. And that might be easier for them to than making the emotional decisions right now. I'm not saying that you should be endlessly patient for this person. I am simply saying, yeah. We've got the Four of Cups and the Ten of... not. I'm sorry, not the Ten of Swords. The Nine of Swords um, is coming out. This person's fears and anxieties may lead to a sense of rejection. This person, or there's the thing that this person may have dealt with a serious rejection. So it's maybe a little bit hard for this person to take the love that is getting offered to them. This person doesn't seem entirely immature or anything like that. Um, but they seem like they're having some kind of response some kind of response to maybe a lot of drama and this drama didn't necessarily have to happen in your situation but it may be affecting your situation we've got worth you have wor been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve in fact you are love itself Does a person acknowledge your worth? I feel like this person does. I, 
acknowledge your worth. I feel like this person does see potential really long term between the two of you. Um, this person, like, they need to deal with some things. We all do. Fast pleasure. I feel like this person gains a great deal of pleasure regarding you. Resilience is underrated. Uh, underrated. Underrated. There's power in not backing down. Either this person finds you very resilient, which they appreciate, or this person is, you know, working on their own personal resilience. Again, there's this four, um, you know, this person. may be in a tough place to accept or give emotions right now, which is, of course, difficult. How are they feeling about you right now? Transformation. A lot of them recognize that you may have transformed in a significant way. They might be going through some kind of transition too, but I feel like most of that, it's about you. And there's some kind of fear and anxiety that, that, that this person has regarding the transformations that you've made. Why does this person have anxiety related to that? Why does this person have anxiety related to that? Internet, embrace the fact that you are the world. Well, there's literal internet, so I don't know if there's something about your online presence that makes them feel worried. But you also have embrace the fact that you are the world and we have worth. So I feel like I think that there may be some level of embracing the fact that you are, you know, fully worthy, even if they might have, you know, I feel like they might have like created some kind of barrier between the two of you. And it does look like there's fear and anxiety. I think that you're coming off as resilient. You're coming off as wise. And it's like, I'm getting the impression that they're starting to think that you know something that they don't know. Um... And that there's maybe some necessary work effort. This person might find you very hard working. This person might see a lot of effort that you put into things. Or this person may realize that in order to get the 10 of pentacles that they want, that they probably needed to put a lot more energy and effort in you. Um, because you were this, you were awesome this whole time. I do think that you probably have done some improvement, but it's never because you were not worthy. We've got the uh, Ten of Swords and the Ship. So the Ten of Swords is a very difficult ending. It could be a, a stop to communication as well. We have the ship, which is emotionally moving forward. 
Some of you, this person might feel uncomfortable and in their fears because you're in some kind of transition that makes you seem like you're moving forward. Old ways won't open new doors. Yeah. There's there's some kind of mystery about you even though they they probably are following you on the internet in some way. But I think that they are having to revise because um how things may have been is not going to cut it. And I feel like, you know, this person likes to have a lot of control. This person is also capable of balancing themselves. Um, so I have A, Z, W, and L as the letters. And the British flag in a heart came out. Um, there could be uh, there could be some relationship with the United Kingdom. Um, and there can be some kind of affection or love. I feel like I feel like this person is very very strong in what they want. Um, but I feel like this person may not have fully uh, been able to give or receive emotionally even though the offer of love was there. Um, and I think that this person is recognizing that maybe you knew a lot more than this person did. Um, and I think that they're they're seeing that they may have to revise something in order to let something, you know, in, in order to get out of their way regarding success. So I do feel like this person wants success with you. Um, they want a steady, stable, long-term thing. And you seem to be somebody that fits that fits what it is. Um, I feel like this person cares very much about being practical. Um, again, because I think that this person has some fears um, because of um, you know, the, some kind of walls up, hopefully to keep them safe. My nose is just itching. I don't know why it is with this one, but it seems to be. So I forgot to grab these two. So this person realizes that there can be love in this connection. Um, and this person, I think, I think this person feels like they're seeing the authentic you. Um, and the authentic you isn't somebody that is replaceable in any way. So, I think that I think this person is trying to get out of their own way regarding you. And I feel like that this person may have done so in the past. Um, but it wasn't like, I feel like this person sees a lot of value in you. They see a lot of wisdom in you. Um, And I think that they're realizing that whatever has been done isn't going to get them what they want. So I hope that this helps. If you do want a free reading, I'm going to give away two as soon as I hit 9,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment and you're in the running for that. I deeply appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. If you want to book with me, my email's in the description right below the timestamps. And thanks to everybody who's liked, shared, subscribed commented, booking readings, it all matters, and I appreciate you guys. So, my gorgeous angels, how are they feeling about you right now? Four of Swords. 
Ten of Swords. Um, this person seems to be um, doing their best to heal from a rough ending. We've got the Page of Pentacles. This person is taking very small practical actions. And the Five of Swords. Um, this person, like, there was a significant fight or disagreement. Um, and it does look like this person, uh, might not see you in a very good light because of that. Um, maybe they felt that they were put in an absolutely no-win situation. Um, but this person might be, because of how painful this is, this person might be ascribing negative intentions towards you, whether or not your intentions were negative. Um, they're just trying to heal Uh, and seeing a significant source of their pain. And this person is, they're just trying to like put one step in front of the other and be really practical. But I, I'm thinking that they, yeah, four of wands. I feel like this person saw a long... They saw a long-term, steady, and stable relationship with you. They, I'm getting that they, for the most part, feel like that's over. They want a brand new beginning, but they want a beginning where there's where things are stable, steady, um, so a, a beginning in which they can depend on. With the star. This person is really concentrating a lot on health. This person is uh, focusing a lot on um, fulfilling their own personal wishes, um, healing themselves. They may want, they may still have some hope that things will um, become better. But yeah, this person, I feel like that's why whatever this was hurt so badly. Because this person really did see you and them. And, and think that that's just it. The chariot. This person is moving forward. Um, this person is doing their best not to get in their own way of moving forward. Um, and again, some of them really might be, a, a, because whatever happened hurt them so deeply, you know, a, a, some of them are moving away from this situation because they, um, they they don't trust your intentions. Doesn't matter if your intentions are good. From their perspective, everything seemed incredibly unfair. Was it fair? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but this person, like, they're, they're, I feel like they, they really want a new beginning. Whether or not they're ha going to have a new beginning with you after the ending that they had with you, I feel like there may need to be some kind of clearing up of things. Because this person is trying to make the most practical decisions possible. Um, and if this is really 
whatever that was has hurt um, your connection um, so intensely. Because I feel like there's, they felt an intention. This person wants to have a steady, st a stable, long-term relationship. They want to have a new beginning. They want healing. Um, and they're moving forward. Yeah. I feel like this person, because the Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords, this person wants a new beginning and honesty, clarity, integrity. Um, especially regarding any relationship that they have. Um, and definitely if if there's any kind of new beginning between the two of you. Um, it, it's, it's like this person would have to have everything on the table. We've got the Nine of Swords and the Six of Swords. So this person has fears, anxieties. This person may not have a lot of clarity regarding what has happened between the two of you. But this person, you know, as long as there's some kind of... What they see is an unfixable argument. Like, they're, they're moving forward away from that. This person is very much trying to move away from conflicts yeah i think this person um this person still thinks about you this person probably still has feelings for you this person might have some nostalgia for you but again there there's that level of i th this person wants there to be a very sweet, loving, reciprocal relationship for them. Um, and I feel like whatever happened here might have made them a little bit more cold. Again, especially if they don't know exactly why what happened happened. I feel like they deal with a lot of thoughts all the time regarding the ending of what it is. And it doesn't mean that they're, you know, they're not stopping. They're, they're moving forward. And I feel like they really want a kind and loving and, and gentle relationship. I feel like something happened and like it really it really colored maybe how this person views you. Clarity on the nine of swords. Six. So with the six of wands, that's about moving forward towards victory. Um I feel like this person has some anxieties and fears regarding your uh, your relationship. Um, I and I feel like it has to do with some kind of conflict, some kind of conflict that they really did not believe was fair. Um, again, I've got a lot of moving forward cards. I've got a lot of new beginning cards. I've even got nostalgia cards, but I feel like if 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 there was a significant conflict that never got resolved, this person like they're they're making a lot of decisions based on logic towards you know they want something that's very steady and stable and then they want something that there is very lot you know like makes sense like there you know it's just clear and a, some of you this person like i i feel like the way to to move this forward again maybe this is your energy that i'm channeling 
and you know not the other person but i feel like the only way to like move forward is like there's a nece- there's a need to move forward from conflict and there's been a significant and very painful ending um and this person is moving towards a new beginning the question is is that new beginning with you and i feel like until something is resolved or there can be some kind of honesty and clarity yeah because this person is looking for somebody who is very emotionally open to them and will create a long-term steady stable relationship And this person is very, very hung up with the conflict. And especially, like, maybe even not knowing why. So, it does seem like this person is ready for a new beginning. The question is, is that new beginning going to be with you? Um, because if that new beginning is going to be with you, um, the conflict between the two of you needs to be resolved. Clearing. As true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mine, mine, mine to God's, 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 such freedom. Yeah, this person is releasing a lot of things. Do they still feel anxieties and fears? Do they still feel heart, you know, like a lot of pain from the situation? Yes, but... But they're, like, this person's going to move forward. And it's whether you're going to move forward with this person. Because this person is going to have a new beginning with you or without you. Lakshmi abundance. Yeah, I think that this person is very much looking towards what will be abundance. Lakshmi is also, you know, beauty. A very significant partner. Yeah, this person is looking for a very significant partner in their life. Thank goodness you're weird, right? So I feel like a lot of the things that make you weird are things that this person probably really liked about you. Celestial teacher. Um, I feel like this person maybe learned a lot from this connection with you. But again, if there's unresolved conflict between the two of you, th this has colored how they see you. Fire, take responsibility for your power. So this person is clearing out things that aren't healthy, um, taking responsibility for their actions and their power. And I think that, I think that there's just stuff that they don't know. Like with that Ace of Swords, coming out over and over. I think that there's a lot of stuff that this person doesn't know that they didn't get clarity on. So I've got fear. I've got emotions, like needing to, let, manifesting things through emotion. And I feel like love, you know, 
like mastery of your heart is like mastery of creation because it allows you to how we feel about things matters um it so i think that and we've got you know unconditional love we've got you know the force of love and we've got fears so i feel like if if your fears have not allowed you to be honest with somebody and it's led to an ending and it's led to there being a serious unresolved conflict between the two of you i think that you need to consider whether your choice is to embrace love or fear Because I feel like, you know, this person appreciates what makes you weird. But this person may not appreciate conflict. Like, and especially a conflict that seems like it's unwinnable, that it's undoable. Like, like conflict that it doesn't seem like can be resolved. And I feel like there's a need for Ace of Swords. There's a need for clarity, honesty, things being on the table. Um, but if that doesn't happen, this person has and will continue, you know, and will learn a lot from their, situ their situation from you, but they will move forward. And they'll probably move forward because they don't have the necessary information to make staying a logical decision. So if you can offer this person stability and if you can offer this person honesty, again, maybe this is you moving forward um, and learning something from somebody and going towards success and they just won't come with you um like this is obviously somebody that's very significant to you and they've put you in your power and they've taught you a lot but again there may be a need to clear in order for you to move towards your abundance but if it's the other way, I and you don't like how things have happened, things need to change. Like things, uh, and especially regarding things being on the table, things being honest, things being clear. So we've got, it's okay to focus on you. So some of you, again, some of you, this is you and your had something that you were passionate, something that you loved, but it ended very badly and you're having to move forward. So if you're moving forward into a new beginning, it's all right, focus on you. And even if, you know, you need to, you know, even if you're on the end where you need to do a little bit more healing, it's okay to focus on you. I think that it's, ultimately important to also balance what is going on with the situation and maybe see whether things seem fair from another perspective. Let the light in. So with let the light in, there's a need to let light happen, let love happen. Let, we've got the Ten of um, Cups and the dog. The dog is about loyalty. And the Ten of Cups is a long-term, steady, stable, really happy ending. But I think that there is a need for loyalty. There is a need to let the light in. 
because Five of Swords doesn't really have any place here. Because Five of Swords, as long as there are situations where nobody's going to win, where, where the conflict just means that nobody's going to win, um, it is going to mean that there will be a clearing. So I'm just getting like without a lot of real honesty, clarity, and communication, there's somebody here that's just going to move on. And it's not because they don't care. It's simply because something hurt incredibly badly. Um, and whatever was a no-win situation still seems to be a no-win situation. I'm going to grab a few more cards. Just the one. Appreciation. So I think that there's a need for... Again, if maybe you haven't fully shown your appreciation for somebody, there may be a need to let them know before you really don't have the opportunity to do that anymore. Um, or there's somebody that deeply needs to show you their appreciation or they're just going to be a lesson and you're going to move forward towards success, towards happiness, towards somebody that will let the light in and, and will build a long-term steady stable relationship with you but there's a choice so i hope that this helped you if you do want a free reading i'm giving away two as soon as i hit 9,000 subscribers so be subscribed and comment thank you so much i really appreciate you uh, i'll give away two as soon as i as soon as I hit 9,000. And if you want to book with me, my email's in the description right below the timestamps. Thank you so much.